Microsoft, OnePlus 5, Amazon Galaxy S8, Nintendo, and more. Let's begin. So, to start this off, I want you to press the subscribe button down below. There would be a red subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit that bell icon because I post almost every day. I post these technology news vid videos weekly. And also make sure to follow me. My social media is linked down in the description below. I also started a Patreon page. It's also linked in the description below if you want me, if you want to donate to me for me to have more content to be able to make. So, with that being said, let's just get into the video. So, Microsoft came out this week with a Surface, Surface uh, laptop with Windows S built in. Windows S is basically the same thing as Windows RT, but instead has the ability to update to Windows Pro for 50 bucks. The Surface laptop looks pretty nice and has the same specs as the Surface Book or the Surface Pro 4. The only problem with the Surface laptop is that it runs Windows S, which locks down everything to the Windows Store and to the Edge browser and Bing search. So it really is Windows, at Windows RT, just with... Windows S to make it sound fancier. They're trying to reboot the whole thing. To get Windows Pro, as I said, you'll have to pay 50 bucks. Also, if you have a creative designer or editor, you will not be able to get any of the Adobe software on the device out of the box. So, if you're going to be buying this for being a creative professional, it may, may be more worth it for you to go and buy the Surface Pro or the Surface Book or the Surface Pro 4. Or anything other than the, because this is geared more towards students, but people are saying, will this be a Chrome killer? Will this be the Chrome OS killer? No, this will definitely not kill Chrome OS for over $1,000 for the base model. That is definitely not going to kill Chrome OS for students who just want to carry this around for for just typing stuff up. Even though this this, this boosts boasts a 14-hour battery life, I still think this is crap and it shouldn't be out. But basically, in my end, I really do think it's the biggest, biggest waste of money. And it'll only take off with tech reviewers and people thinking, oh, this is cool, and then upgrading to the Windows Pro for no apparent reason. But, yeah, that, that, that's, that's that. There isn't really much to say about it. It's just crap. So, OnePlus 5 is officially set to launch in the summer. So there isn't much to say about it besides for it saying it's going to launch for $4.99. And here are the specs. It has a 5. Point, it'll have a 5.5 inch quad HD display with a resolution of 12, 20, 2506, 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution. I'll have a 12 megapixel dual rear camera, 8 megapixel front facing camera. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, so that won't be just limited to the S8 anymore. 6 gigs of RAM and fingerprint scan on the front. So that is really all I have on the OnePlus 5. I don't know if there's going to be any more. So, Amazon is reportedly making a device with a touchscreen and a speaker and a camera. This Think about this as a Fire tablet combined with a speaker. A good speaker, like... A good, let's say, think a Bluetooth speaker that you probably own or bar seen people have. Not, not just like the. I'm not saying the built-in one's bad. I'm just saying not like a built-in one. Like, no, I don't mean one of these types of speakers. That is not what I mean. I mean like a great speaker built into the built-in. Like it's an actual device with it's an actual like stand-up device just with a. Built a great built-in speaker. Like think of the Echo speaker. Just on this thing instead. Just a different way of looking at it. So this would make a good combination for video chatting, online shopping, and making the gadget more of a must-have for homes. Because if you can have like video chats happening, like you set this up in your kitchen, you can read the recipe. You may be able to say, um, "I don't Alexa, scroll down or something." Stop. Again, I should have muted this this episode. But maybe you can say that or you can say start video chat 
or you, you can say scroll down, you're reading recipe, you bring up this recipe, scroll down, what's the weather, and then you can see the weather for the week instead of having to read it for you. You can just do a lot more, you can tell it to watch YouTube videos maybe, whatever it is, but it's just like a more of a device that you can have someplace else, you can watch cooking videos on it maybe, and then you can ask easy questions that pop up, you can have it pop up on the side maybe, I don't know, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this. But we just have to wait for it to really just come out. So, Nintendo released a 2DS XL. It's just a 3DS XL with smaller bezels and no 3D. It will cost only 150 which is half the price of the Nintendo Switch. It's $50 more than the 2DS. And this basically, it looks like the 3DS XL. Smaller bezels, looks a little nicer. Closable um, hinges instead of having it like the 2DS, which was just one huge chunk, which wasn't the best design, but I bought it anyway. Um, this is a more of a kid proof. Also, maybe get some of the apps from the Switch, maybe, if it becomes popular enough. It has all the features of the 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL just, just less. It'll be able to play all the new 3DS titles, but it's just not yet released. So last week, I said, and all these tech, comp tech sites said, that Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus did not have the Amazon shopping functions yet on the Bixby Vision uh, Assistant Vision thingy where you pulled up your phone, you looked at the thingy that you wanted, and it would pop up with the on Amazon, the uh, item. So, this week, users in um, Samsung released an update that enabled the Amazon shopping function. Users will see a pop-up within the camera app showing their Bixby Vision update is available. People can tap on the notification to download the update. So, that is all the news I have for today. If you did like the tech news, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And comment down below if you have any new news that you want me to look at that you've noticed that I haven't covered for you guys. Also, I have a Patreon page. It is listed down below in the description. Make sure to follow me on my social media. That's also down in the description. And as always, just enjoy the rest of your day. Come, come.